y'all it's your girl Michi G and I'm back with another video it's almost Christmas first of all happy holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas if this is your first time seeing any of my videos welcome I hope you like it here I'm Michi G I am author of the book I lost my mom now what memoir of a motherless daughter which will always be in the description below if you want to check that out but today the book review is not about me. <laughs> Today we have a really good book review on the book, What It Takes to Be Free by Darius Farrow. Before I get into this review, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Literally all you have to do is click subscribe and it should be a bell next to it. Click the bell, just notifies you when I drop my videos every Friday. Now that that is out of the way, let's get into this book. I will say this book is probably one of my favorite books that I've read thus far. It was such an easy read for me. And I really received the message that this book was trying to convey. I loved every bit of this book from start to finish. I love this book so much. So of course I had to go ahead and let this be this week's book review. What it takes to be free is the cover, ooh, that's the author. The book is 177 pages long. Technically, if you search it, it'll say 178, but this book, first off, it is made up of three different parts. Awareness, the price, and the freedom plan. I love that it did that. It gave me like, okay, three solid parts. But in those three solid parts of the book, there were like 12 to 13 like subcategories, sub chapters if you will, or the chapters basically, 12 to 13 chapters per those three sections. The first section obviously was about awareness, but the book overall is more so about identifying what freedom even is in itself. Why most of us will never be free or just having that unawareness and different barriers that keep us from being free. Like it really got into detail with those three. So out the gate with the first chapter in this book, it went ahead and identified what freedom even is. According to the author, uh, freedom is to do what you want to do and be what you are. And I love that he said what you are instead of who you are because well, one, a lot of us don't know who we truly are, but I think that we are what we say we are. And if you feel that way, stand in that. And so I just, I love that like out the gate before you read too much, this is what freedom is. First of all, I just want to say that this book, reading this book made me realize my ultimate goal in life. And we'll get into that later. So what I liked about the book, I loved how short and to the point this was. This is your first time watching and you're unfamiliar. With me, I did not necessarily grow up reading books. Like I never really had a desire to read. So in my adulthood now, recently, really specifically this year, I've really been like making it my mission to read books. So if you're like me and you're getting back into reading, you're a newer uh, advocate of reading, uh, this is definitely an easy read. Like when I tell you the chapters or the sub chapters uh, in each part, are literally one to two pages. I think there were maybe two or three chapters that were three pages, but for the most part, literally front, front and back, like super easy. Also, I like how straight to the point this book got. No matter what the chapter or the topic was, it didn't d dance around the issue or whatever the author wanted to convey. He said what he said and he really got out what he wanted to say like that. And to a point where you read it and you're like, darn, I felt that short and sweet like I love that I love that he did that in this book also I like the different dynamics that uh, this author touched on freedom he touched on what uh, is holding us back so is it your family your friends your job is it your partner is it is it you and I'm gonna answer that because <laughs> I reading this whole book I was like answering the questions like I know you're talking to me yes it's me holding me back for the price of freedom with this section of course that is the second part of the book that section opened up with a quote that said if you want to fly 
You've got to give up the ish that's weighing you down. And I felt that because how many times, or I won't even ask y'all, I'll just be honest and tell you, there are so many times in my life where I'm like, I want all these things and I want to be free and to do what I want to do in life and live out my purpose. But I don't think a lot of us just have sat and realized that if we really want to achieve the goals that we set for ourselves, you've got to give up some of that stuff that's been holding you back, that doubt, that fear, that worry. You've got to get, you've got to give that up. And so that quote, it touched your girl's heart. I love it. I love it. And then the other dynamic of actually making a plan to be free. Um, it talked about literally making, planning out your freedom and how you're going to go about getting to be free um, on top of making core values and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I love that it kind of attacked freedom in ways that made you think and assess yourself and go, aha. At least I did that most of the time. Also, I want to give you guys some quotes that really stuck out to me and what they meant to me in this in this book. Quote number one came from chapter four, which was entitled, We Avoid Pain. Yes, we do. We do everything to be comfortable and feel the least amount of pain. And that's exactly why we are not free. Let me tell y'all, I identify with that because... I envision this life that I want. I want to, you know, who doesn't want a vacation every day? Who doesn't want to, just doesn't want it to be all sunshine and rainbows? Like, I do. I know I do. But I think that up until reading this book, I didn't realize, like, you know, life has ups and downs. It's not meant to be sunshine and rainbows all the time. And so I think that prior to this year, earlier in this year, I've lived in a place of being comfortable. And it's like, you can't grow being comfortable. Like you can't, you cannot at all. So I think that quote really touched me because it helped me to realize that like, now, now I'm uncomfortable with being comfortable, if that makes sense. Now I identify when I feel uncomfortable and I'm like, okay, I know why this is. Like I'm, I'm working on something, I'm working towards something. Chapter 14, which was entitled Comfort, also had a quote that really, really struck a nerve with me. It's like a two part quote. So the first part of the quote is, what is limiting your freedom? Is it your job, your family, friends, partner? Is it you? Though some of those other factors play a part. I think that the core of it is me holding me back because I I do what I say I'm going to do. Um, and you know, things happen to you from other people, but ultimately you are the person that holds you back with your excuses or, you know what I'm saying? So I like that he, ask that question and then to follow that up after you've identified what is limiting your freedom the quote said at some point you'll have to decide what's holding you back and then get closure with whatever that is you must identify what it is and then consciously choose a new life direction and accept that without suffering there is no growth that's time back to my original point of the original quote where I was like, you know, a lot of us, myself speaking for myself, want to live in a bubble of comfort. You know, we want to know that our, we have a steady job and our bills are taken care of and just that we live in this comfort, but it's like, no, you can't get to freedom being comfortable. You're going to have to do what makes you feel uncomfortable. And I just love that it, it asked that initial question of like, what is limiting your freedom because a lot of us don't sit with that question and don't know what's limiting us that we think of On chapter 23 which was entitled defending my ideas and this quote said true freedom means you're not concerned with other people's opinions views and actions you also don't have the need to explain why your role and actions are the best so that, that chapter as a whole, talking about defending your ideas, it's like how many times have we had certain ideas or thoughts and we're afraid to share it in the first place? If you're like me, sometimes I'm afraid to share my thoughts because I know people are so critical now and my ideas because like people are just so critical. I'm a person that I, I've worked on a good amount, a good deal, but I over explain and over share sometimes and I know that's a trauma response but I don't know this chapter as a whole made me like 
true freedom is not defending your ideas. Like, you shouldn't have to sell your ideas to nobody, but have the freedom to stand in your idea and know that your reason for having that idea, your reason for doing a certain action, your reason for whatever, is for the best to you. And that's all that matters. And when it comes to freedom, I love that quote for this chapter because I needed to hear that also. So I'm going to uh, end with two extra quotes, just kind of like honorable mention quotes that really stuck with me. Actually, let me go to the page, read it from the source, chapter 13, which is titled Certainty. It said, to find true freedom in life, you must accept that life is unstable. And I, this is one of those quotes that I never realized, like, that is true. As much, like I said before, as much as we want to have life be like this, life is like this. <laughs> and the quicker that you come to terms with that um, and just, just kind of stop resisting that, the better you will feel. Also, like, another kind of sub-quote to that is life is change. A person doesn't resist that adapting to change is real freedom and I can agree I can agree I'm one of those people that like I hate change I hate when they're like like at, at my job for instance and they're like okay you're also going to do this task and then now you're also going to do this task and it's like Rrr, I hate change I've gotten the flow of this and now it's more but also it's like you don't grow like without tasks and without other things that's how you grow as a person that's how you grow with whatever it is you're trying to do so just accept that the more you stop resisting the better is for you and then lastly this quote comes from chapter 12 the ruler of your own kingdom and the last quote is a free person respects another person's freedom more than anything else in the world why because freedom is the most important thing that quote goes on to go into the paragraph that states your parents partner managers co-workers and friends are not your boss you are not anyone else's boss either. You are your own boss. Everything you do in life is your choice, even in the bleakest of circumstances. You decide to endure it. You never surrender your power to someone else. You protect your own kingdom with your life. Never ever give up your sovereignty. That quote really touched me because I think it is important to respect everybody's everybody's freedom whether you agree with it or not like everybody has the freedom to make their own decisions you gotta respect it in a world where everything is just so opinionated it's like you know we can agree to disagree i respect your freedom uh of speech because in a world that feels like we're not free like our words are the only thing we have i feel so um yeah just i like that it took that stance of like not even personal freedom but respecting other people and their personal freedom now if they say they have the freedom to say something that you don't like you also have the freedom to not stay in their presence and to walk away or to voice that you are not okay with that um and to do what's best for you but at the end of the day like we have that freedom and i think that's important would i recommend this book Absolutely, yes. This book was amazing. I personally rated a 10 out of 10 because it was such an easy read. I think out of the, all of the books that I have read the most, this one touched me the most and I really learned a lot. This book talked about how everybody wants to be free but nobody understands the price of freedom comes with so much sacrifice and struggle and just uneasiness and a lot of people fold because we're used to being comfortable man we're used to following the norm and it's like true freedom comes from going against the grain and doing what you believe in and I love that this author invoked that in this book and it motivated me and my husband because I as you if you watch my old vlog like my birthday vlog when we were on the beach I was reading this on the beach and like looking at the water and like my ultimate goal in life other than being free is to like travel and vacation <clears throat> for a living like if I can do that for a living that's all I want out of life I don't care about being famous I don't care about none of that I just want peace freedom and just <laughs> the view of just anything that's peaceful so if I can find it I will try to post the link to I got this book off Amazon but you know if you just do your basic Google searches it's easy to find yeah and so I'm not gonna keep y'all that long thank you guys for watching let me know if there's any other books that you would like me to review 
Let me know how you felt about this book review, um, your thoughts if you've read this book and what you thought about it, and yeah. I'll enjoy your Friday and your holiday and your Christmas or Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you're celebrating, and I love you guys. Peace out.